Hello dear Cancer, welcome to Divine Debut, this is Kathy speaking and thank you for being here. This is your general and love reading for mid-month of April. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Let's have a quick look at your lives mid-month of April 2020. Okay, dear Cancer, you are dealing with a with an earth sign. Could be a Virgo, could, doesn't have to be. This is in the now position. What is in the recent past? Queen of Swords. In the near future, we have the Death card, which is a massive change that you're going through. What's on your mind? We have the Page of Cups, which is a Pisces. More than likely, this is an offer. Dear Cancer, you are ready to offer something, obviously, here, which is going to bring major change in your life. Let's take the foundation. And we have the Magician. And the Magician is a major arcana. We've got a couple of major arcanas here. The Magician is where the reading stems by. This is a beginning. This is as above, so below. You are, you've got the manifestation tools. You've got them all lined up as you are transforming your life. You're becoming much more stable. You are much more outspoken, dear Cancer, I feel here. And you could be dealing with two different people. We've got the Queen of Swords in the past position. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And Scorpio here, which is change and transformation. We've also got Pisces here. Now the Magician is Virgo and Gemini as well as the Magician is ruled by Mercury. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we have the Seven of Swords. And I do feel that the Queen of Swords, person you've been dealing with in the past, doesn't have to be a love relationship. Looks as though something is coming to light. Looks as though someone has been quite sneaky. They've been doing things behind their back with, with you um, sleeping or not sleeping not being there, probably not even being around them. I do feel that this is something, uh, as you've been really busy, they've been working for their own benefit. Seven of Swords does speak of intelligence, which means that you are now more than likely going to be the intelligent one. Okay, you're taking those swords and you are running. Let's see, this could be harsh communication as well. Some of you may have had fears of someone being quite deceitful but I do feel that this is the truth that's coming out in the recent past which is going to bring you much transformation what's beneath it we have the page of wands which can be a message that's coming through but this is also someone who's willing to take um, that risk they're they're willing to go with their desires what they feel they need to create in their lives someone who is wanting to take that journey and this could be a physical journey yes and we've got that ace of wands so I do do see a lot of passion a lot of creative energies as well dear Cancer let's take some Lenormand let's take some Lenormand and see what's happening with you so Aquarius Gemini Libra this could be someone also that is quite harsh-tongued, someone who can use words that hurt. Now, the Queen of Swords could also be a legal representative making a judgment. This could be another side to you. You're making a judgment. Let's take some Lenormand. We have the mask, and the mask we know is all about lies and deception. Let's see what else we have. We have the compass. So the truth is coming to light and you are looking, you are looking to head in another direction. Okay, you're trying to find your way forward. And I do feel that when the masks drop, so this could be clarity, communication, truth coming through about things that were hidden. This could be hidden feelings, emotions. Some of you may have been holding back on your emotions. You could also be dealing with someone that could be at a physical distance. We've got the compass here. The compass is someone that is lost. This could be saying that 
because of the lack of truth you were lost feeling lost until the clarity comes through let's take another card and we've got the dice which means that you are willing to take a risk that's why I feel that the page of wands is your energy that you are yes willing to take a risk you're going for gold going for what you desire going for what you want to manifest now the dice can also speak of yes risk taking now risk taking does speak of the house of Leo and Leo is also the house of true love it's the house of um, having created also something of your own dear cancer and when I say creating something of your own you've been quite intelligent you've been you know creating something for yourself Queen of Swords is someone who stands you know very intelligent um, Queen of Swords could also be someone that you are dealing with someone that is judging your work this could be a boss this could be uh, a co-worker whoever you are working with here I do feel that the Queen of Pentacles for a lot of you could be your energy as well as you're the one that's going to provide you're the one that is investing in your future you're the one that is going to be very stable and you will be receiving as the Queen of Pentacles is she's holding that ace of pentacles which is something that she can manifest and she can provide to her beloved people let's take another card on that on that dice and we've got the rider which is a beginning it's a number one it's another ace this can be literal movement as well this can be in this can also mean that the risk your risk pays off you're going to have new beginnings as you can see she's riding on a rainbow which speaks of luck let's take more cards now with the page of cups here this is an unexpected offer for others of you this could even be an apology could even be a child now the Queen of Swords could also be a teacher I'm thinking here for some of you as you do have the seven of swords here which does speak of perception intelligence so yes the queen of swords for some of you you could have someone who is taking on the energies of the queen of swords and you may be finding out the truth finding out the truth about the past and what someone has what someone has deceived you about what someone was not communicating about what they they were not sharing their emotions you could be finding out from another person but whatever the case your risk is going to have you starting a new cycle let's take that death card and we have seven of cups which means the transformation is going to be giving you many options here the change but we know also that the seven of cups can also be quite confusing that things are still up in the air as the transformation is still taking place let's take another card and we've got the seven of what did I say seven the eight of Pentacles here eight of Pentacles is much change coming around work I do feel that whatever this offer is whatever this offer is if this is a business your intelligence and your collaboration has given you all the tools and you're waiting on an offer to come through and that's when your the door is going to open to a lot of new beginnings and this could be around work and I would say that your work will be paying off it will be giving you new beginnings now if this is love the transformation here after a lot of confusion and things have been up in the air okay for those of you that um, had choices in love for those of you that had choices in love as I could see we've got an air sign and an earth sign here dear cancer I would say that more than likely you're willing to put in the effort with the earth sign now this is um, the card of Virgo and I usually see the Queen of Pentacles 
as Virgo. Now, for those of you that this is the same person, the Queen of Swords may have been this Virgo that was quite cutting with their words. Okay, this the deception may have come from you, dear Cancer, and the Queen of Swords was making a judgment call. So you've probably both gone through a lot of transformation. Things were stuck, you know, you were stuck. Things were all up in the air. You couldn't see clearly what was happening. And with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel that the effort that you're putting into um, your transformation is going to give you the options to either put in the effort or not depending on who you're dealing with. Let's take a card on the Magician. We have the Page of Pentacles, which is a new... Um, your reading begins here, right? With the Page of Pentacles. And it stems into the rest of the reading. So this message, whatever this is, was giving you the tools to manifest. The Page turns into the Queen. Let's have a look at that Seven of Swords. And we have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands we know is a choice. This is a new doorway open for you. But this is also having made your choice and not telling anyone about it. Okay, someone's made a choice. They've opened the door on a new situation. They have turned their back on something from the past. And with the Seven of Swords here, they could be starting to take this journey as this person is holding that Ace of Wands without letting people know. This could also mean that the door is open. Be smart. Be smart about it. If you are dealing with someone that is from a different culture and another world, you may be hoping to sneak away. when Once the door is open, the lockdown finishes, you may be hoping to sneak away without others realizing. Let's take that Page of Cups. And we have the devil. So there is strong attraction here. Now the devil does speak of restrictions, addictions. For those of you that have been um, for those of you that have been at a distance from your beloved, for those of you that this is the same person, I do feel that this is a fear of coming forth and offering this apology or your love. I do see a lot of sexual attraction here and the devil can also be that you've done this over and over again. Now the devil is also fears, fears of lack of truth, fears that what you have kept, let's say, from your partner or from your beloved, the fear that they will not accept your apology or that you are fearing the worst, that they may be wearing a mask that your partner may be wearing a mask or and I'm going to say that the devil because it's very heavy energy and the it's you know very serious whereas the page of cups is very playful this could be saying that also I feel as though you're going to um, take that risk with the, the dice here I do feel that this is uh, you standing in your fear but you're going to come around in a playful way you're going to connect or offer your cup in a very playful way and very unexpected I feel here that the sexual connection is very strong the emotions are starting to grow now as the page is only a page Let's take some Sabilas. Let's take the outcome. Now the devil can also mean your restrictions or your burdens work is not able, is not letting you uh, be able to take time out and be able to look at love. Looks as though you've had a lot on your plate. You've been dealing with a karmic situation, no doubt, here. Let's take the outcome. 
We have Imenel, which is the spiritual bond, very strong connection. Someone here wants a commitment. We have Donna de Servitio, which is the helping, the aid towards this. And we also have the Amica, which is the Four of Wands. This can speak of commitment and stabilizing something. Now, this is a confidant, a best friend. Some of you, for some of you, this could be someone that helps you at work. This could be someone that you communicate through your work or at the time of when you are at work. I do feel that uh, this is a very big move for you, dear Cancer, a very big move, but it's more than likely something that you've been working towards, something that you've been working towards as you feel as though with this new partner, this new person, you will have a lot of choices, a lot of options in your life. As we know that with the Amika, she's also the card of harmony and balance. And the Amika, harmony and balance does ring Libra. And Libra can also be the scale, so legalities as well. Some of you are coming out a winner as you've got a lot of hopeful and helpful energies here in these Sabilas. And I do feel that a lot of you are working very hard towards finding your balance. And, you know, things will settle. I do feel that you've got two aces here, dear Cancer. Let me just take one card quickly on this Queen of Pentacles. Just a little bit more information. The Sun and the Queen of Pentacles can also have strong Leo in her chart. This is true love, yes. This is clarity. This is warmth and a lot of positivity here. Let's take a look at that Queen of Swords and we have putting it to rest. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords and the Fifth Sword she's holding. There is a lot of conflict around this Queen of Swords. All right, dear Cancer, I think I will leave it at that. I want to thank you so much for taking the time out and also supporting my channel. Thank you so much for all that you do. Sending you much love, much light.